a miracle happens when people are ready to take responsibility the word responsibility comes from the word responsive how many hired servants give us the scripture please look how many hired servants as my father and i am here they have bread enough to spare and to perish and i perish with hunger verse 18 i want to show you the power of self-examination i will arise i will arise not that i will lie down and wait for someone to come and meet me i will arise men may forget me but i will arise i cannot redeem myself but i can arise and i will go to my father and i will say unto him father i have sinned against heaven look at what he's saying self-examination is a miracle the moment you get to a point where you can take responsibility for as long as you still blame people i can tell you redemption will be far from you even salvation today those who receive that gift are those who admit that they do not have the power to help themselves anybody who comes before jesus to be saved and you put your hand in your pocket and you come and stand and you are watching and smiling as if you are coming to your, I mean, as if you died for yourself. And you say, Lord Jesus, well, interesting. I mean, I'm here. I mean, if, if you, are, you are speaking English, you would not be saved. With the heart man believes. Are we together? Blind Bartimaeus said, have mercy on me. He would have said, Jesus, I have wicked relatives. I'm not the only son of my father. I've been blind here and nobody has come to comfort me. It's the miracle of self-examination. For someone god is speaking to you now why is my business now there must be a way i'm a ceo someone ran away with my money someone betrayed me someone stole my products and ran away with it my business partners ran away i know they may have the fault but i need to take responsibility lord jesus it depends on only me and you you remain ever faithful the failure is from me i take responsibility how come I have four children and none of them respect me? Not they went to school and learned rubbish as if you taught them well. Take responsibility. Lord, even now it is not too late. There are adults and all of them discard me. There's something I've not done well. Why are my children not becoming great? All my children are beggars. Don't move around and say, look at all your uncles. Some are in Lagos. Some are in House of Assembly. And they will not come. You hear parents with all due respect discuss those things. And their arrogant children also keep joining in the conversation to recycle pain. I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm trying to be truthful. Take responsibility. Hmm. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Lord, help me. I need you. I need you. Help me. I cannot help myself. Oh God, you are my God. Help me. And I will ever praise you. That's a life of self-examination. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, say. Oh God, you are my God. Man of God, don't give excuses. You took the anointing for granted and you were careless. You took members for granted, you were careless. You insulted them and said all kinds of things. If you are tired of this church, go away. And they obeyed you and went away. Don't say there is a spirit. Before you talk of altars, go and kneel down before God and say, Lord, help my pride. Don't say it's my background, it's from my father. If I did not come from this father, <clears throat> I take responsibility. I've not been the best of shepherds. I've not loved the sheep. This is the attitude of genuine self-examination. The next is brokenness. Self-examination naturally graduates you. I'm showing you the keys. Many people pray and call for help, but they don't examine themselves and they are not broken enough to receive redemption. Brokenness. 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 Psalm 51 and verse 17. This is an irrefutable formula. It will bring any man out of any calamity. The sacrifices of God 
are not just offerings and tithes, but a broken spirit. It says, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou will not despise. If there is one man, I tell you, that for want of word, I will say God cannot resist in terms of paying attention to, is a broken man. No matter what has gone wrong in your life, carry what is left and cry for mercy. Carry what is left and cry for mercy. My home is broken. My life is broken. My reputation is broken. I've done things I should not do and I've destroyed myself. Carry what is left to the altar. Are we together? Carry what is left to the altar. I'm a victim of lack of discernment, you may say. I'm a victim of carelessness. I'm a victim of abuse and misuse. God gave me some money. God connected me to seasoned prophets, seasoned apostles. I use my own hand to destroy my thing. Now, Lord, I'm ready to get back. Oh, listen, in my walk with God, there, I, there, is, there, is, there is nothing more... Um, uh, the, the, uh, how would I put it now? That there is nothing that moves the heart of God like a broken vessel. Let people laugh at you. Let them talk about your yesterday. Go to the horns of the altar. For as long as you remain proud in the, inside that hole, you will keep digging. When you find yourself in a hole, ladies and gentlemen, calamity has struck your destiny. Run away from pride. Pride will only complicate your situation. Hallelujah. Go before the Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. You gave me a good husband. I didn't have the grace to see. I kept comparing him with other men not knowing that he was a faithful man. And now, things have gone apart. Show me mercy. Not, oh God, I know I'm a beautiful man. Somebody will come by force. You talk like that, you remain in that situation. God hates pride, I tell you. I'm an intelligent person. All it takes is just for me to get one data job online and money will start coming. And heaven looks at you and says, are you not tired of foolishness? Only fools say in their hearts there is no God. Anytime you find yourself in trouble, go and lie down before God. I'm telling you, this is a formula that works. Roll on the ground before God and say, my King and my Savior, if you do not show me mercy, there is no redemption in the grave. Pray the prayer of Jonah. Pray the prayer of Hezekiah. The dead cannot praise you, O God. The poor cannot give to your work. I have made mistakes. I agree, but show me mercy. Ah, you are ready to see deliverance. It is true. I stole the money in the office. I shouldn't have, but sincerely I did. It was out of pressure. Now I've been pushed out of the job. I take responsibility. I may not be able to return to that frame again, but my God and my King and Savior, nobody will believe I am changed, but you who is my God and you see my heart, can you accept the pieces of this shattered destiny? And God says, bring it. I am not only a Savior, I am the great physician. Hallelujah. Have you seen surgeons perform surgery? Sometimes they remove human parts and you think that is an abattoir to sell it. They only want to recouple it again. Maybe like a bypass for a heart surgery. It is amazing. If you have the opportunity to see that kind of thing, you will not believe that a human being can be shredded like that. They literally can saw the, the skull of a man to reach through the brain and remove a tumor and do all kinds of things. And you are watching a human being in various pieces. And just when you think the person is not alive, is not breathing, just be patient. The great physician is walking and he keeps walking. For some of you, it will not happen in one day, but just know the great physician is walking. From the moment you began your tears in sincerity, he began to walk. For some of you, from January till now, you may not see any motion physically, but imagine yourself in the ICU. The surgeon is walking, fixing your life, fixing everything. Hallelujah. Fixing it. Fixing your business. While others will say, my God, this man, you used to be a millionaire. Shame on you. You've gone down. What happened? Prodigal businessman. They do not know you are already negotiating with God. Can I tell you? Be careful when you conclude on men. If God is still alive, there is still a future for them. Because while you are talking about the Jesus who died, he's resurrected long. He died for only three days. Hallelujah. But that prayer, take it higher for me. Let me sing that K-string song. I think this is a good place to sing that song. Get the mic, come. 
ready to be broken that mother ready to be broken that pastor ready to be broken that once great apostle prophet who is ready to be broken that once millionaire who is ready to be broken that once amazing child who declined to become a prodigal child there is always room at the cross listen ladies and gentlemen there is always room at the cross for the broken, for the contrite. There is no room for the proud. There is no room for those who cannot examine themselves. Remaining in pride, I, I can figure my way out. You will keep digging and digging till you cannot be seen again. Listen, those who know this principle, are those who perpetually tremble before God. They do not even wait till things go wrong. By default, the way we stand in this kingdom is to be on our knees. If you stand by standing on your feet, you are in a wrong position. Champions stand by remaining on their feet. That is the most stable position for the believer. The moment you remain on your knees, you have gained stability. You don't fall when you're on your knees. You only fall when you are standing on your feet. self-examination hello there transform believer welcome to transform daily youtube channel and i believe you were blessed by this very very touching and you know i'm blessed by it so i don't know sometimes when the messages come and they bless my life like this i just hope that they bless your life i want to encourage you in your work with god in this commentary section that every piece and bit of the word of God you hear is geared towards transforming you to becoming a better person. I, I want to encourage you to keep on listening to sermons, to keep on listening to, you know, messages by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman, and any other anointed minister of God who your spirit has clicked with. Because in one of these sermons can just come your deliverance. You know, he said in the Bible, in the word of God, in the book of Psalm, that he sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Deliverance comes through the word of God. The word of God comes and opens your mind, opens your heart. You begin to see what nobody else is seeing. Sometimes it can come from what the man of God is saying. Sometimes what the man of God is saying ministers a totally different thing to you. That is why I keep sharing what I got from the sermon because sometimes it's not even what he was saying that begins to resonate inside me, but something different. You know, I believe in the power of um, um, brokenness, you know, the power of brokenness, you know, in achieving and becoming a great person in destiny. I believe that humility is one of the biggest ways to attract God, coming down to your knees. You know and examining yourself even if you have a spiritual problem or a family battle the day you come down and tell god god i can't do this on my own help me a lot of people have not come to the end of themselves that's why they've not seen the hand of god in that matter i want to encourage you today that you should come to the end of yourself are you not tired of carrying these burdens alone are you not tired of you know reopening these wounds why not drop it at the feet of jesus 
be broken before him and watch how he will change your story, turn things around and ultimately give you peace. In Jesus' precious name, amen. My name is Kola Dave Goldman and I bring you commentaries on sermons that are preached by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman on this channel. I hope you have been having a nice time here. Do well to like this video, share to someone so that they can bless their life and I'm sure the Lord God Almighty will bless you and reach you and prosper you as you do so. Let me know what blessed you most in this comment section and let me know if you enjoyed this video. Tell us where you're watching from. We'll see you when we post another video. Bye. God bless you.